Welcome, I'm Carl from Excel Fluid Group, and we want to introduce to you today our wet well design calculator on our website. We'll go through this video showing you how to use it, um, highlight the industry resources that we built it upon, as well as what you need to start uh, your wet well design. I'm Mike Coleman, project manager and civil engineer at Excel Fluid Group. What you'll need to use the wet well design calculator is the inflow to the pump station, the system high and low elevations, force main dimensions and material, surface and discharge elevations, the emergency retention time if required, and the lowest inlet depth into the wet well. Now that we know what we need to run the calculator, the first input we need is the flow to the station. We use uh, gallons per minute in our calculations, but you can select an option of gallons per minute, gallons per day, or million gallons per day, and we will convert to gallons per minute. The other input we need in this section is the peak factor for the station. EPA recommends between three and five, but the calculator is not limited to that range. And then the combination of the average flow and the peak factor will provide a recommended pump capacity. Once your flow capacity has been calculated, then you can move on to the system curve section. So what you'll need is the static elevation high point in the force main, or if that's the discharge point into a sanitary manhole, and then the static elevation low point, which typically would be the pump off elevation in the wet well. These values can be found typically on a force main profile drawing. That will obviously calculate your static head. From there, we can move on to selecting what our force main material type is. Got a few options here. For this case, we'll select uh, HDPE, and then that automatically um, puts in a C factor a value, which that you can adjust if you want to default to 100. In this case, we'll leave it at 130. From there, you'll select your force main diameter. So there's a few options here. We'll stick with the four inch force main, and we can add additional force main fittings by selecting yes here. So there's a, we can add in a couple of 90s, the equivalent length and the quantities, also elbows or other, or other fittings can be added into the force main calculation. And then from there, we'll move on to selecting the pipe tree or the pipe and valve tree that would typically be in a valve vault or in above ground no vault enclosure. So in this case, the standard pipe tree includes uh, two 90s, two 45s, one T, and then obviously a check valve and a plug valve per pump discharge. So in this case, uh, we will select that no, we are, we are using a standard pipe tree. You can also select yes here and build out a custom pipe tree that is equal or less than the force main diameter. And then there's a whole different number of fittings that can be selected to build a custom pipe tree. From there, you can see your flow velocity in your force main, and then we'll need to take your force main length number and input that into the calculator. From there, you'll then see your total friction loss calculation and the total dynamic head calculation from your flow velocity through the force main, plus your static head, as well as giving you a force main retention time. Our next section is the project design point, which allows you to put in pump curve points if you desire. Our recommended pump capacity and our total Dynamic head has been brought down from the upper sections, and then we can select uh, yes if we want to input pump information. Otherwise, we just have the system curve graphed. Uh, if you select yes to put input pump information, then you can input your pump name and up to six operating points, and they will graph onto the chart with the system curve uh, showing your operating point and your design point. Now the next section of the design calculator is the wet well design size. So here you can select at the moment a duplex or triplex application, and then you can select your wet well diameter. In this case, we'll select six foot diameter, which shows your gallons per vertical foot. We typically like to see gallons per vertical foot greater than your operating point in gallons per minute. And then you can select your pump starts per hour. So the recommendation at the moment is, is eight. However, this is a user inputted field and typically comes back to the pump manufacturer that you're utilizing to recommend pump starts per hour. However, most manufacturers have a maximum a starts per hour of 15. Once the starts per hour has been inputted, then that calculates your pump cycle time and then the design working volume in your wet well and the design working depth. The next field to its user input is your minimum emergency retention time. Uh, this can either be as low as zero if you have additional emergency backup equipment, like a standby pump or generator. However, if we put in 15 minutes in this example, then that shows an emergency depth of three feet above your high water float elevation, and then shows your emergency volume in the wet well. Further to that, you would input your invert 
depth into the wet well, which typically you would find that again on the force main profile uh, drawings. And once you've inputted that, that will calculate your wet well depth for this application. Our final input section is for the elevations. You can put in your top of wet well elevation from the force main profile drawing and we will automatically calculate the invert elevation based on previous section. The discharge elevation is also a user input. Generally should be three to four feet below the surface elevation to be below frost line. And once you have that in that elevation input, the subsequent elevations also calculate based on our standard increments. The pump station could be designed uh, with other increments, but these are our standard. Then once you have all the information input, you can click the submit button. That will auto-generate a PDF summary of the information you've put into the calculator, as well as it will download report to your device. This calculator is also mobile friendly, so you can use it on a mobile device or tablet. The PDF report contains a summary of all of the input and calculations from the wet well design calculator and provides a self-contained report. If anyone would like to set up a demo to go through this with a given project, we'd love to hear about it as well as we'll continue to make updates and improvements to this design calculator for civil engineers in the water and wastewater industry uh, to make pump station sizing easier and um, faster for all parties involved.